Hey guys, on this tutorial I'm going to create a kinda of electric chrome effect using the layers blending options in Adobe Photoshop. If you are interested to download the Photoshop project file I will be working on, you can get it either on my Patreon page or on Gumroad. I will leave links in the description for you to check, but I recently created a Patreon page where you can support me if you'd like and you will be able to get project files, freebies like fonts and brushes and many more. I will also include all the project files from previous videos, but as long as it's a new page I'm still working on getting everything uploaded. But if you'd like to download a couple of working files only, you can check my Gumroad page where I will be uploading individually all the files there as well. Some of them will be for free, some will have a very small price like 1 or 2 bucks. So back on the tutorial, I created the lettering on Procreate to use for this design, but you can just use some text with any font instead. Now I create a new document in Photoshop, I will make it 4000 by 2300 pixels, at 72 is fine, and I click create. I will make the background black, so I will take the rectangular marquee tool, I select the canvas, then I right click and I will fill it with black color. Then I can use the type tool to add some text, but in this case I have created a lettering piece, so I will use that. You can simply use some text. Next I'm going to right click on the lettering layer and select blending options. I'm going to start by adding a color overlay and I will choose a pink color. Then I will add a bevel and emboss. By the way, these numbers will have a different result if you have a bigger or smaller canvas, or working on different resolution as they are based on pixels, so depending the size of your document or even your text, they have to be adjusted. However, I will show you the method and you can play with these settings based on your design. The settings are very similar to what I'm going to use, because I was working on the same design earlier. So for the style, I have chosen inner bevel. On the depth, I will have something like 790. For the size, something like 50. This is the angle and the attitude of the shading, but I will keep it like this. Then you can change here the appearance of the gloss contour, but I like this one most. I have changed this color to a teal color, but you can see that like a light purple because I have used the color dodge highlight mode. Same as the shadow mode, which is black, but with overlay on the shadow mode. So we're good with the bevel and emboss, and I'm going to choose contour. On contour, I would like to select a different style, preferably that one. And on rage, I'm going to add it something like 15. Next, I'm going to select inner glow, and I have the settings set to color dodge, opacity to 100%, size to 9, and the rest are shown here. So you can just simply pause the video and use the same settings if you'd like. Next, I'm going to add the satin. Again, here I have used this color and I have set the blending mode to multiply, the opacity on 50%, and the rest as shown here. Finally, I'm going to add an outer glow, and again, I keep the same settings as I set them earlier, so the blend mode is normal, opacity 21, I have used this pink color, and the rest like that. However, the sign doesn't look high I wanted, so I'm going to check again the settings. Ah uh, yeah, here's the mistake. The, this should be, the opacity of the color should be around 34, like that. So the light blue sign is more visible. Now I click OK. And the lettering is ready with the effect, but I would like to add some details to make it a bit better. So I'm taking the brush tool. I will create a new layer. I will make the size quite small. probably like that, and I will add some horizontal lines in random locations, but I will change the color each time depending on where the line starts. For example, I would like to add the line starting from here, so I'm going to select the color based on this. In order to select the color, I will take the eyedropper tool, I will select that color here, and I will take the brush again, 
and I will draw the line. But if you'd like to make the line straight, like I will do now, press and hold the shift key on the keyboard while drawing the line. So I press the shift key and I will draw horizontally. You may notice that my line is thicker on the beginning and then it becomes thinner. This is because I'm using a pen tablet which has pressure sensitivity, but you can make the lines have the same size on the whole length and it will still look pretty, in case you don't have a pen tablet. I continue by adding more lines wherever I see that it will look good. To use the eyedropper tool quicker, you can simply click and hold the Option or Alt key and select the color. When you release the keyboard button, it will simply go back to the brush tool. Next, I will go to add an outer glow effect on the line, so I right click on the lines layer, blending options, then outer glow. I keep this color as the same outer glow with a lettering, and actually I will use the same settings. Now I will move it on the back, and now that the design is ready, if you'd like you can add some gradient on the background, better use one of the colors you have used on the design to match. So in this case, probably the light blue or, or probably the pink will be better. So I create a new layer. I select the gradient tool. First I will take the a pink color. I will select the first option for the gradient. And then I click and drag. You can use the shift key if you'd like it to be straight. And I will do the same from the bottom. Now I will reduce the opacity to something like uh, 50 or even less, like that. In addition, you can use a hue and saturation adjustment layer to see how it looks in a different color variation. So go to the adjust them layers and select this icon here. I will make sure it is on the top of everything. And then adjust the color. Another thing you can do is to add another adjustment layer, the color lookup, and try some different LUTs, like these. If you find something that you think is better, you can use that. So that was it for today. This was how to create this effect in Adobe Photoshop using mostly the blending options. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like or a comment if you have any questions about the process and don't forget to subscribe. Also, let me know what kind of tutorials you'd like to see and till next time, keep creating!